Hey everyone, my name is Crystal and I am with Vintage Booth Pro. I look like I just finished a CrossFit workout. I didn't. I actually just left a estate sale and estate sale where everything was free. Um, and I'm literally like thinking about all the things I left behind because I just simply couldn't carry them. Um, and I can't wait to show you everything that I got, so hang tight. So I did manage to get a little bit of footage of the estate sale. You can see this is a very nice house. It was in a um, one of the nicer neighborhoods where that are close to me, um, but you can see it's got a basement and two stories above that. Here's an office, um, just years and years of stuff that they have. There's so much paperwork. Look at these tapes. There's even a box of eight track tapes. They had VHS. Like if you sold electronics, this would have been your dream estate sale. And the holiday stuff. I love this family. They celebrated every single holiday and just love life. Okay. Now that I have it unloaded, it doesn't feel like that much stuff, but when you're in the heat and you're fighting people, for access to the boxes and trying to get as much cool stuff as possible. It seems like a lot. I had to make three trips to my car to unload it because, you know, you don't think about, you bring bags, but then they fill up and it's just so heavy. You have, and you can't put them down because people will steal your bags at a free estate sale. So I've kind of been obsessively looking at Facebook Marketplace recently because um, I ha I'm moving into my new booth on February 1st, and I'm really looking for furniture, or I was. And I have a ton of furniture now. I'm still updating some pieces, but just getting ready for the booth. So I've been taking a break from shopping and looking at everything because I have a ton of inventory. And I happened to look at Facebook Marketplace last night, and I saw this free estate sale. They listed everything they have. They said it starts at 9.30. It was only 11 miles away, which is about a 25 minute drive for me. And I decided to go. I really, I, you can't, as a reseller, you can't pass that up. So I got there about 9 10. There were already a ton of people there. There was a U Haul truck there. Um, in fact, in the ad, it said, bring a U Haul truck if you, have, if you can. They were just giving everything away. And so I got there and I was talking to some of the other people waiting. And um, one of the ladies said that she she finds free estate sales all the time. Um, and I asked her how. She said, Facebook Marketplace is okay, but really Craigslist is a great place to find free estate sales. So um, I'm definitely incorporating that into my strategy moving forward because, um, you know, there's really two ways to improve your vintage booth sales and um, that's to shop better and shop cheaper. So, you know, shop better, find the good stuff and shop cheaper to improve your profit margin. And free is the best you can get, but just be aware, it was so physically demanding. I was sweating. Um, carrying lugging bags around. It was not easy. It's not easy work. And people were making piles of stuff like outside and other people were just coming up and taking them. So no honor among resellers, I guess um, is, is the saying. So one person did try to steal a bag of mine and I was like, what? That's mine. And um, it was like a 31 bag. It's like obvious that that's somebody's bag um, with stuff in it. Um, so yeah, just... Uh, be on the lookout for those free estate sales and just be ready for a potential physical fight. Um, yeah, and it's a lot of hard work, but let me show you what I got. Okay, this is bag one, my um, Ikea bag, which if you ever go to Ikea, they're $5, just get them. I am taking any and all bunnies. These are kind of a primitive look and feel, but they're pretty cute, this little boy and a girl bunny family. This little bunny, I think it's like a little hook has a little hanger. Um, all good things for my booth and my spring display. This guy, I love all lanterns um, with that. I love that patina on that. That is gonna be perfect just to clean up and put in the booth. Now these pictures, I had another picture, but I literally just couldn't carry it. Um, I don't know if there's a good solution for something with wheels that you can, that you can carry into places like that. But this is so cute, little bluebirds, uh, pecking order to Carolyn Shores Wright, and then another bluebird, and who don't, I love bluebirds so much, I always have, and those look like um, numbered prints. 
Okay, and this, um, you know, I'm just kind of disappointed that I didn't get more in my Ikea bag <laughs> because um, it's, they're so big, but oh my gosh, this was so heavy. Really nice. I don't have to do anything to those candle holders. These two were cute, but look, one broke, probably in my bag, but that's an easy fix. I could come up with something else to put that in, but matching sets always do well. Little birdhouse. Uh, with a really nice patina on the leaves. And this one, oh, I saw the tag, but I don't see it now. Um, yeah, and this lamp, I have not checked it to see if it works, but very cool, kind of retro looking lamp. Okay, bag number two. I cannot express to you how much Christmas that they had. Um, they had something from every holiday and a lot of handmade items. So this is the Kurt Adler. Um, I don't know, what are these, candles? Um, gingerbread. I pick up anything, Kurt Adler, and I haven't not comped anything. A lot of these things will probably go online, and then other things will, I will put in storage for my vintage bin, uh, for next, for this coming Christmas. And this primitive looking Santa, she had so much, um, primitive doll type things like Raggedy Ann and Andy. I just couldn't, I don't know how well they sell. I like them. They're fun just to have around um, seasonally, but I didn't get too many of them. And I'm also obsessed with painted gourds, apparently. This one is a Mr. Christmas. I haven't checked it, but the little mouse moves around. It's a mu little musical piece. Um, little snowman. This glass is just Santa. The tag says, uh, manufactured in Spain for sweet antiques. So I've got some, you know, research to do. Check that out. Like, a, I guess it's like a cast iron um, sleigh. This little house. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they sell well online if it works. I've sold um, some mod more modern looking ones. Okay, I know these aren't valuable or anything these little angels but just look at that face like i am dying he's so funny like that's like me when i sing i get all into it so he is gone this santa going down the sim chimney is marked uh sylvestri so not sure about that this looks like something she hand painted i don't know why i grabbed it i just kind of liked it um i'm gonna do some comps on this i always like new old stock um, kind of fun. Another Santa. Um, oh, and he is, that's just like a Walmart brand, I think. And this one, Debbie Mum, deviled egg plate with salt and pepper shaker. Look how cool. That's going to be perfect for the booth. All for free. So I grabbed this. I, I thought I would spend some time looking through it. Oh, upside down. But it is just stickers and stickers and stickers. And I'm hoping I'm going to have some fun going through this. And hopefully there's some valuable ones. Because vintage stickers um, really sell well online, which is just crazy. Something I've learned from um, a group on Facebook that I'm in called Bolo Buddies. She has a channel here on Facebook as well. I mean, on YouTube as well. And I will tag you. But would you have picked this up? All these stickers and paper and wow just a lot of stuff okay here's box number or bag number three and oh this giant heart i had to fight so many people off but that is going into my booth immediately um so i found some um halloween items you know we're kind of divided on halloween in our booths because some things so well some things don't but it's just some things are just fun to have some things i might keep for myself see here's another one of those uh primitive looking dolls the cat say toil and trouble in her pocket and just cute um these look a little bit more modern sorry these pumpkins grab those this um i don't know why i got this kind of creepy looking this will be cute in my Valentine's display. Several things have already sold um, for Valentine's. Let's see, uh, this for spring, how cute. This rusted watering can. Um, there's a little sheep in the bag too. Um, back to Halloween, super happy looking skeleton guy. I don't know what this was. There was probably more I should have grabbed. Another little bunny for my collection. Excited about that. These, you know, looks vintage, still in a box. I 
there was there's no time to comp everything or see if it works so just grabbed them there's two of them those will probably go online they had a huge office just full of papers and stuff and they had eight tracks and they had movies and they had tapes i i don't i don't sell i shouldn't have bought them but i you know i assume that's going to be a good one because it's so hard to find charlie brown stuff just on regular tv but who has a um, VHS player anymore. Uh, Martha Stewart every day. Huge enamel like um, vase. And another little pumpkin. And I think I have another one just like that. But some basic things. Oh my goodness, in this guy. That's Cupid. I think he's a Cupid. He didn't have any clothes on except for his little outfit. But oh my gosh, isn't that funny? Okay, I forget bag, what bag number we are on. But here we go. This Merry Christmas framed item um $24.99 originally so that'll be cute for Christmas in my booth look at that super dusted dusty um bird cage with the birds in it this pretty lady pretty angel was originally marked $30 and here's another set I don't know if the lady made these but I like the candy canes I thought they were cute set of Santa Claus um candles this little gingerbread guy and I was hoping to find another a, a matching set for this. Just a little, just a painted hanging stick. Honestly, I don't know how to describe it. I could have gotten so many ornaments and um, just filled my booth up with those at Christmas. Um, this is an embossed metal ribbon. It's marked, um, I thought it was Department 56, but maybe that was on something else. Yeah, Department 56. Vintage uh, brass. I've never seen anything like that before. And this is like a plum pudding oil lamp with brass. So there's the plum pudding. And here's all the stuff, I guess, that goes inside. Looks like it's uh, been burned before, but there's a replacement oil lamp thing. Um, everything but the oil, I guess. This is the next bag. It is, it does not have many things because this beautiful little bath, uh, bird bath, is about 10 pounds, so that was not fun to carry. This beautiful little like gardening angel, she's gonna be so cute in my display, in my booth. Um, why do I pick up weird things? I don't know, but it is a gourd, and it, it's probably ready to be painted. I don't think that you would display it like that. More bunnies, little hanging thing from Hen Feathers, cool. And just this brass. I think it's brass um, planter. Next bag, and again, kind of a heavy one. Um, I've noticed the theme of things covered in moss are like trending on Pinterest and in Instagram, so I grabbed that. This, that's a pretty hefty, oh no, I forget what it's called. Um, something for needlework. Sweater, size 2X. There were so many clothes, but the clothing resellers were there and I just couldn't get in to, um, to <laughs> look through everything. Every visible thing in this world is put in the charge of an angel. How cool. St. Augustine. Love that. Very primitive style. Things like this typically sell well in my booth. And this beauty looks like it might be missing a piece. I see that now. But look how pretty. I'm going to clean all that out. And I've got a whole blue and white display that I'm working on. Um, yeah, and that's going to be nice with that. Okay, so I found a box and I started digging through it. And it was all Easter stuff, so I just threw it in a bag and, um, I, yeah, just, um, discovered what was in there. And this little family, okay, so there's the Mr. Chick guy and there's the mom and the kids. I mean, this is adorable. I don't know what, what, you know, how much these would even run for, but how cute is that? This must be part of a craft project, so not sure about that. This very lightweight um, bunny. Super cute little Easter eggs. Sad, I did not get the bottom part of that. It might be like a candle topper. Okay, so this is just like cabbage leaves, I guess. There's nothing in them. Cute for display, maybe, but there's two of them. And lots of these little eggs. Some Easter plates. Um, you know, decorative plates sometimes do well. I mean, sometimes they will sell. So, 
Um, I will put, they'll be nice in my Easter display at least. This little chick, oh, he's broken. Um, but he's a candle. Little gardening bunny. Oh, no, that, oh, wait a minute. That wouldn't fit, would it? Oh, it does, yay! Okay, so I assume this goes together. <laughs> and I did pull out some Christmas stuff. Oh, there's another little bunny. He fit, he's a candle, okay. Oh my gosh, and one more. I love, this family just really celebrated every single holiday. And I could just tell that they just had a fun life. This is not too creepy of an elf, but how about that for elf on the shelf? And then, oh, this Hallmark set, and they are in there um, because they did have a lot of empty boxes, but those I'll probably sell online. I grabbed them and look, I broke them. So I thought I could fix them, but then I just noticed that big crack. And for the last bag, it is more Halloween stuff. Um, I did get this little cast iron feeling guy. I could have sworn I grabbed two of them, so I'm going to continue digging and um, hopefully sell them. So this brand new set, like I said, it looks old. It's still in the box. Debbie Mom, Mom's a Word. I did check really quick, and these go for around $20 on eBay, but maybe I'll keep them for my booth. Now this, I quickly grabbed these because I thought they somehow went together, but maybe not. Um, I just, I don't know, but I thought it was kind of neat. Well, everything's about gardening, Halloween gardening. Um, this angel is a fountain. Who knows if it works? Um, I don't, wouldn't even know what to put together to try to make it work. Um, there's a little light thing and this will be super cute for halloween to do a display and another kitty cat um what do you call that just a display thing oh and one more cat i didn't show you this one but it looks hand painted little guy so <laughs> what do you think would you take an hour out of your day and go to an estate sale where everything is free i still may try to cancel everything call in sick for the rest of the day and go back <laughs> my family would kill me though i have so much stuff and now i just have to figure my way out of this mess and get it organized okay now i get to clean all this up not looking forward to that but um i am looking forward to getting some of these items in my booth that noise was that dog that was not me um, if you are a vintage booth owner, consider joining our private community on Facebook. You get started at patreon.com. It is $5 a month and we have so much fun and learn so, so much. Um, anyways, subscribe for more.